All right, video number two. The first one's easy. You just get on and you start talking shit. You feel like you have so much to say, right? Like, I'm going to make a whole series because I have so much to talk about. And then you get to day two and your phone pops up a little reminder like, keep doing this because maybe maybe it'll feel good. And you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to say today? Like, didn't I say everything? Apparently seven minutes is like the amount of shit I have to say today. So I was like, well, what could I possibly talk about? Like, you know, I wanted to make this a platform or something. I just wanted to make something to kind of reach more people to talk about, I don't know, substance use, addiction, shit that comes up. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I was thinking, you know, maybe I want to talk today about what a substance abuse counselor even is. So, right, like... I have this thing in my life where I'll be out. I'm from Wisconsin. People drink a lot here. We do a lot here. Um, so I'll be out at the bar or something like that. And the second people ask me what I do, I'm like, oh, I'm a substance abuse counselor. or I'm an AODA counselor. Or I talk to people about drugs all day. People suddenly get very fucking weird, right? Like, oh, shit. They get very protective and hidden. Like, oh, I don't have a problem with it. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't fucking care. Like, you're not my client. You're not on the other side of my desk saying, like, please help me. I'm not out here, like, scanning the world. Like, when I go out for something, like, this weekend, I went out for a show. You know what I was there for? To watch some fucking music. I wasn't there to be like, hmm, that person had a lot of drinks and try to do some kind of judgment or diagnosis on the spot from just being out on the town, right? So... I want to clear up, like, people, you don't have to be fucking weird around counselors. It's like if somebody told you they were a therapist or mental health provider, you're not going to just instantly jump in and be like, I don't have depression. I don't have... Maybe you will, actually. Like, uh, that's something that's more easily talked about than substance use, or substance use is this big fucking stigma, right? We're so concerned that people are going to think that we have a problem with it. And that's just not the case. You know, I'm here to say... The clients that come through my door, the people that I see, they're the ones who are asking me for help. They're the ones who are like, this shit has really fucked my life up. Please help me stop. It's not me just handpicking people out in the world like, that motherfucker has a problem. Come see me. Let's talk about this. I mean, sure, you'll get some of the clients, like one of the programs that I do is treatment versus punishment through our court system. So... It's helping people get into treatment to treat their disorder versus just punishing them for it, which is a great direction for the world to go. I mean, anybody else, all other cities, you should 100% follow suit because it's effective. It works is the moral of the story on that. You know, if we help somebody with what's wrong instead of just punishing them, it changes the behavior. Fucking wild concept. I know, right? 2022, you'd think we would have grasped this by now, but we're coming along. Um... Any good counselor is in it because they fucking love humans, man. That's why, I mean, if I were to be asked what makes a good counselor, my answer would be genuinely giving a shit about people. Like, so many negativity out there and social media, things like that. Like, oh, I've had enough humaning today, or I saw too many humans and went back inside, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, this huge disconnect and... It's the exact opposite of that to me is connecting with humans, having that connection, being that person for somebody, you know, their cheerleader, their motivational cheerleader, somebody once told me. It's to care about them, to make them feel better. Some people don't have that. And it's easy, like if you're going about your life and you're like, how do they end up? Why would they even do that? And blah, blah, blah. And society is pretty fucking wicked to anybody dealing with addiction issues, people with mental health issues. They want to talk about how they're so woke and know all these issues and accept them. But when it comes to the day-to-day stuff, they don't. So as a community, what can people do, right? Like everybody can't be a counselor, but everybody can help somebody. Think of back like hundreds of years ago when the church was the place to go for any type of help. Like you don't have food, you don't have shelter, like go to the church, the church will help you. That was community-based. That was people helping people. Even if, you know, 
whatever your religious beliefs are. I'm not a church kind of gal. That's not my jam. But the idea, the concept behind it was spot on. It was humans that humans could turn to when they needed help. It was a place to ask for help. And if you couldn't ask for help, help was offered. You just had to show up. And I think that's the direction we need to go with this. You know, help somebody out however you can. I'm not saying like, go give them money, like do that. Let them come live in your house. But something, spend time with them, be that person for them, help them how you can. I mean, maybe what you know about this world and living it and how the fuck to get through it is going to be beneficial for somebody else. So I would challenge everybody to try and connect with a human not through social media, not through platforms, not through anything like this, like strike up a conversation with a stranger, smile at somebody. I walk through this fucking city smiling at like almost every person that I see. Sometimes I get some funny looks, but a lot of times you can, you could genuinely see like the light, the glow on somebody's face just from smiling at them. And it sounds like such a cheesy, hippie-ass concept, right? Like, oh, love, peace. But that's not, I mean, it's true. That's the thing. It fucking works, right? Like, be nice to humans. That's just going back to the basics at this point. I think we've just gone so far away from it that, I don't know, we don't have that human connection anymore. And I think after yesterday's video about Rat Park, you know, having the other rats there, having a community, having a support, just having somebody there on this planet that, you know, knows gives a fuck about you can change everything, make all the difference for a person. So give it a try. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but what if I do? You know, what's the harm? Like that bitch told me to smile at somebody and I did and it was terrible. Like that's not going to happen. So I mean, give it a whirl, see what happens. Maybe you'll surprise yourself.